up y'all so I'm gonna go ahead this is just gonna be a part two of the cards of coffee that I was doing um, I was having problems with my live stream so I just cut off there I came back over here uh, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead I'm just gonna take this line back real quick just go over this one again because I don't know if you guys heard me read anything on the 5d part right so here we go I got the eight of wands right there's definitely a call for movement here but this person needs to figure out what is oppressing them right what's pushing them down I get this um, <laughs> it was a magician I once knew who used to talk about that about how the universe will just keep pressing on you until you make the moves that you need to make right it's an energy of being smarter, playing the game smarter, moving smarter here, right? Recognizing how you cause these third-party situations on yourself. All right. I had two pages come up here, which I'm thinking, you know, it could be the baby mama drama. There could be kids that are in this situation. Um, or this person could have just acted very immaturely that's got themselves stuck in these situations, right? And there's just a tower that has to happen, right? The universe wants you to move. It'll drag you kicking and screaming if it has to. Be like, well, you can't, you can't have it. <laughs> you can't have both. You can't wallow in these toxic, low vibrational energies and uh, elevate yourself at the same time. It will always come back to backfire on you. Don't believe me, that's Carl Schwarzenegger, right? Rolling around with the maid. Never thought he'd get caught. That's the kind of shit that's reaping what you sell here. There's definitely an energy, like, there's good, there's something about the home here and some teamwork this person has going on or some way that, some routine, right? It makes it hard for this person to make a decision, but they're working very hard right now. They want a new beginning. They want to be a king of pentacles. Two of cups, soul connection. They want a real connection in their life. This King of Swords has lied a lot about where he has spent his money or what he has wasted his money on. He could also be lying about where his money's coming from. I get the energy like, because I got the chariot here after that. Right? And the way that they're both just looking out, like somebody's looking for a ship to come in. Someone has lied about where money is. He's the king of swords. He's doing this for a reason. Somebody's lied about where money is or where money could possibly be coming from. They lie about it because people take shit from them. That's all there is to it. Be like, what? The, 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 whatever they have, someone's taken half. Right? Like I said, past X is drama. Right, whatever they have, somebody's taking half. That's why this person likes to kind of be in a hermit mode, right? And hermit mode doesn't necessarily mean celibate. It means this person's just emotionally disconnected from other people right now because they're worried about keeping their balance here. And they are trying to figure out how to bridge some sort of distance. Get that two of wands over that three of wands there. I get a high priestess. Ace of swords, the star. There's definitely an energy here of, I get they feel like they could have victory with this high priestess energy. I get that's where they feel like they're being divinely guided and poured, pulled towards. That's where they feel like they could have hope and renewal. King of Cups, King of Stabs. Yeah. Right, this person loves and is very attracted to this high priestess I get this person messed up because they thought that they were too good to be true or something was too good to be true they're reaping what they sow see this is the seven of pentacles they're reaping what they sow some of them could be very acting very victimized man I get that dude. don't play the victim card right this anxiety don't play the victim card right because that's I think that's where the queen of cups gets triggered 
in this situation is she could have seemed too good to be true and she could have been too good to be true it's the energy i'm picking up on this could have just been too good to be true right this person this queen of cups are loving and nurturing and they um yeah but they also they're not going to be played just because they're very loving and nurturing and giving with their energy doesn't mean they drink from every single cup right it's this kind of energy of like this person i don't know let me get some more i get they played a victim they played the victim card they played the bullies me card They're worried about whatever they did with this Queen of Cups, right? With that Seven of Cups, too. Ten of Cups, Four of Staffs, Justice, Eight of Cups. This person wants to have a Ten of Cups. They want to have a solid union. Like, that. They, they actually want all that simple shit in life, right? There's some sort of justice coming. But it's only coming if they learn how to actually release the past, right? Yeah, justice and then judgment right on top of it. There's some sort of judgment coming here about the past, right? Something where, yeah... I got five of cups, page of cups. This person's at the very immature in these energies, right? There, and then there's something that's going on. There's a judgment coming. It could have to do with the child, too. Picking up a little bit of that energy with those test result things from yesterday, right? This person has been in toxic connections. Like, and I keep saying this, like the universe is pushing this person. They got these toxic connections and the universe is like having to really push this person away from these connections. Yeah, because they're crabs in the bucket energy. They're not positive co-creators with you, right? I always say that is one of my favorite sayings is your will to succeed has to be greater than their expectation of your failure. And co-creating with people is dangerous, especially if you're in the type of situations where people need your failure and the more you are failing so that they can boot, make themselves feel boosted and better. It's like, oh, yeah, my life's so great. Yeah, but she's so pathetic. You know what I'm saying? Type of energy. We got a knight of stabs here who does want to make a move towards an empress. Sorry, I'm so terrible. You got a knight of stabs here that does want to make a move towards an empress, right? There's some sort of secrets that are going on here. Someone's been out of the cold. I feel like they've been, um, you know, energetically or physically left out in the cold by this empress. There's some distance in between them. They're watching her. They they see her as the queen of stabs, right? There's a lot of love energy there as well, but they just see this person's very fiery, very passionate, right? I think that they feel like that there's been a there's been an ending with this person, a death and an ending. And they don't know how to get back into celebration with this person. See, I get the kind of energy like there's a wall in between them, right? Right? And someone's got the Three of Cups and they're kind of celebrating and they're kind of having like, you know, and I get that watching energy, the stalky, you know, social stalker energy going on there, right? And then we got on this side, you got this person, right? Just watching the Three of Cups while they're over there indulging by themselves, right? There's some sort of defensiveness in between these two energies. <laughs> I definitely get this twin flame type of energy. I definitely get this queen of pentacles type of energy. This person views this person as like a twin flame, their queen, their match. You know what I'm saying? Herophant, the person that they want to have something really traditional with. There's no moves being made on the 3D right now because this person does not have enough money, 
right? And they're very defensive about that, and they do not like people knowing that because it's been made a big deal lately, right? If you pay attention to any of the, the guy crap, the manosphere and shit like that, they're like, oh, it's all about clout, all about clout. This person doesn't like, you know, they don't like being broke. But there is this whole hangman perspective thing changing with the Nine of Cups, right? There's a difference between um, being poor and being broke. Being poor means you can't pay your own bills. Being broke just means you don't have anything else after bills, but you still live a comfortable life, right? This is Nine of uh, Cups here. It's about finding that balance in life, right? And it's the energy of, yeah, definitely get the energy of being, you know, having to be a little grateful for what you have. It's never about settling, right? Don't settle. Don't set, the Complacency is the most dangerous thing in your life. Don't settle. Always be striving to be better than what you were the day before. You know what I'm saying? Always be striving for that better, to be better than it was yesterday, right? There's no reason that you shouldn't. Someone's watch. I get this feminine's watching this person more than they think they are, right? They're watching this person to see what they're going to do, to see if they're going to continue to take the high road, right? Will they continue to take the high road? Will they eventually figure out, you know what I'm saying, what sometimes what you don't need to offer all that money, right? You can just offer that. That's the truth. That's the truth. But I can't offer a lot, but, you know... Could have a comfortable life. This person's passionate about this more than you probably know, right? There's definitely that energy of like, yeah, someone's defending of their money. They could be a little stingy with their money, but the reason that they're doing it is because it's a. I used to get in this fucking argument all the time too, right? I was like, it's not. Um, hiding money from you it's called savings like this is literally an argument that i've had with people because it's like because i can't trust the person with money like one it just wasn't the dynamic in my relationship for that person to know what i had in my my, my bank accounts anyway because if they did they'd ask for all my money so there's an energy of this person like i said and i've picked that up throughout this reading right is defensive about their money and it's because they're trying to build a life that they're passionate about yeah they're focused on manifesting and they're trying to avoid conflict grabbing the tiger by the tail they're getting control over their life this person yep moving on from the past is a rite of passage for them they're moving on from the past and they're moving they're using this passion for what they're trying to do <coughs> to um, help them carry all these burdens that they've got, right? I get that they've got a lot of burdens right now. And they could be doing without a lot of things right now uh, because they're trying to build better, right? It's delayed gratification that's going on. It's a rite of passage, right? And it's a paying attention. It's a learning to who was drilling holes in your ship, you know? All right. Be brave. Be brave. The universe is calling whoever's resonating with this to be brave right now. I got be brave. I got wisdom. I got peace. I get that saying too. It's like, you know, ego says uh, when I get it all together, I'll find peace. And spirit says find peace and it'll all fall together. That's the energy that's going on right now. All right, y'all. Blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me. I love y'all. I'll be back as soon as I can, I promise. Remember, cards and coffee on a regular morning basis will be back. We'll be on Patreon. It's only $5 a month to get all the cards and coffees. Um, and uh, there'll be just regular daily messages on YouTube. 
besides Sundays, I will try to come on. If I can't come on live, I will come on and do a cards and coffee for you, at least on Sunday. All right, I love y'all. I'll be back as soon as I can, I promise.